Welcome to our devotional time here at Temple Baptist Church in Poplar Bluff, Missouri. Uh, our text for today, we're going to be in the book of Numbers. We're going to look at chapter 13, and I'm going to read verse 32 to you. You can welcome to go back and look at verses 25 through 33. This is the time that the spies uh, have returned from uh, uh, out of the land after 40 days. They've been there 40 days uh, spying out the land, I guess you could say, Maybe the word we would use today is scoping out the land, looking it out, looking at the lay of the land, see can we, can we take this, can we conquer this? And the, you know, the obvious answer to that was yes, they could, but you know, we know what happens here. And so in verse 32, that's uh, what we find that they came back and they, and they gave the children of Israel a bad report of the land which they had spied out, saying, the land through which we have gone as spies is a land that devours the inhabitants and all of the people whom we saw in it are men of great statures. And uh, let's go ahead and read verse 33 with that. There, was, there we saw giants, the descendants of Anak came from the giants, and we were like grasshoppers in, their, in our own sight, and so we were in their sight. So here's the report. And, uh, you know, if you're not careful, we can almost be paralyzed by fear and being anxious. You, we can imagine the worst case scenarios and, uh, and lie, lie awake at night uh, agonizing over the, the what ifs. I like the, the what ifs. What if this would have happened? What if that would? But, and, you know, I think sometimes fear is a normal thing and that you know and fear uh, but fear that replaces trust in God and his promises is not that you know that's what we have here you know God has promised the children of Israel that he's going to take care of them in the case of the spies here you know the Lord is sent and and Moses sent them in the promised land and they would uh, but they returned with a bad report they all trusted in their fears rather than in God, except for one. And we know about Cable. He's the one that didn't. And, uh, you know, and, and they didn't just go in one day and look around. They spent 40 days in there. They had plenty of time to look at Canaan, to observe the uh, inhabitants, uh, the, and, uh, and they tasted the fruit, the grapes, the pomegranates, the figs. You know, the land was flowing with milk and honey, was ripe for the picking. It, it was there. It was the time they should have. That is, if it weren't for people whom they surmised they had no ability to conquer. Now, looking at these people, we can't conquer them. We, we can't do that. They're not trusting in God, trusting in time of fears when things look bad, trust in God. And so, uh, you know, only Cable. You know, he, he stood up alone, he even flipped a report on the land of Canaan and, and focused on how small, you know, they focused on how small they felt instead of on God's promise of provision and power. It was there for them, all they had to do. So no matter what we are facing today, seek to trust in God. He promised, his promise uh more than your fears. Trust His promise more than your fears. You know, He promised the children of Israel a land that flows with milk and honey. They were on the verge of it. They had the opportunity to go, but because they didn't, we know what happened. Anybody from age 40 uh, and up didn't enter into the promised land. They wandered in the wilderness for 40 years because of their trust, their fear, rather than trusting in God. You know, come and be a part of our services here at Temple at any time. We have our Sunday morning service. Our first service begins at 8. Our, second, our Sunday school classes meet at 9 o'clock. And then our second service on Sunday morning begins at 10. And then we have Sunday night services at 6 and Wednesday night at 7. May God bless you is our prayer.